now. High definition from the station on your side. This is Wavy News Online. Good morning and thanks for logging on to wavy.com. I'm Carrie Fury. And I'm Don Roberts. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Some sad news topping our newscast. There was a confirmed death from Tuesday's afternoon storm. A Norfolk Naval Shipyard employee was pinned between two portable buildings. He was crushed when the wind blew a crane into one of the buildings and he was trapped in between. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The accident is under investigation. Chopper 10 patrolling the skies after the first storm hit. Scary moments for two truck drivers on the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Both overturned. Amazingly, they, they, they did not fall into the water and the drivers got out. Now, this is why officials issue wind restrictions. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. And the Portsmouth and Tellus Pavilion, no match for the winds. It tore one of the awnings to shreds. It's the third time Mother Nature has damaged the concert venue, the first during Hurricane Isabel in 2003. Newport News police say they arrested a 16-year-old after they say he flashed a gun on Huntington Middle School property. Two students saw it, reported it to a teacher, who then told the student resource officer, who called for backup and chased the teen. Another officer arrested him two streets from the school, and when the teen was arrested, police say he did not have the gun anymore. Police say that the teen's mother told them the teen broke into her room and took the gun. She later found it in a vacant home and called police. The teenager is now in juvenile detention facing a list of charges including possession of a firearm on school property, brandishing a firearm, trespassing, and truancy. Norfolk police say they're investigating several cases of thefts from boats in East Ocean View. Detectives say since March there have been 14 reports of stolen electronics, fishing gear, or parts. The crimes happened on private property and at local marinas. Police say they don't know if each case is related. Investigators believe there may be more thefts that have not been reported. If you think you've been a victim or have any information, call police. Today's forecast will be much different than yesterday. We're talking about partly cloudy skies, not as hot as yesterday, with highs in the 80s. We'll see a little less humidity as well, so less fuel for any storms. Isolated inland shower storm possible today. Otherwise, we're partly cloudy and winds turning out of the northeast at 5 to 10. For your seven day forecast, tomorrow the heat comes back. We got a south wind tomorrow, so highs in the low to mid 90s. Upper 80s Friday, mid 80s on Saturday, and uh, somewhere in there over the weekend could see a stray shower storm, but overall, we're looking dry. And thank you for joining us here at wavy.com. Our next newscast starts at noon. Have a great morning. We'll see you then. Now, high definition from the station on your side. This is Wavy News Online.